Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, bootlicker shields, death slays, earth, peasants, vessels, minions, meat sacks, disease carrying vermin. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And today I want to talk about Ebola and uh, Ebola shit. And uh, anyway, I'm sure everyone else, uh, like me, is being bombarded with Ebola from all sides. And uh, the media frenzy is uh, unbelievable. And uh, the, even the alternative media is a media blitz about Ebola. So, of course, I, a useful idiot, feel obliged to uh, say my token bits about Ebola because it's everywhere. But it's only everywhere in the media because right now it's hardly in the United States. And, uh, and yet we're uh, having this fear factor raised to uh, 120 degrees. We have the Obama administration saying, don't be scared, but we're going to activate the National Guard, we're going to create a, a Mullah Azar who is not even a doctor. We're going to send thousands of troops to go and kill Ebola in Africa and uh, all sorts of craziness. And uh, we have 50% of Americans don't want to fly right now because they are scared shitless because Ebola is everywhere and uh, it's um, hard to even uh, look at any form of media and not be confronted with Ebola. Oh my god, there's Ebola right there. Oh no, sorry. Just close call. So anyway, uh, and then of course we have uh, the uh, uh, dark underbelly of the fact that Americans are all too willing to give up civil liberties uh, yet again uh, when there's the threat of this uh, pan uh, pandemic or in uh, epidemic or whatever uh, form of fear they want to spread. And, uh, and then we see all the, uh, the uh, uh, ineptness of handling these uh, cases in the United States. So. Once again, everyone is put uh, put ill at ease because of the inefficiency of uh, all, all these systems that we seem to have, uh, this nonchalance betraying uh, some other kind of agenda. Speaking of agendas, then we have all the conspiracy theorists, the ones who speculate that the... Oh, my God, there's Ebola! Oh, no, sorry. So, anyway, uh, we have all these conspiracy theorists who talk about the idea that maybe there isn't even an, an Ebola outbreak and that it's all staged. And I've seen some of these videos that look like they're fake, but I think it's more probably lazy journalism of uh, wussy uh, of reporters who don't want to actually go anywhere near where there's actually Ebola. I think there is actually Ebola and I think there's a nightmare, nightmarish world unfolding in that part of Africa. It's going to be hard to contain as long as they keep dumping dead bodies in the rivers. And uh, it's very easy to spread in those regions and we're seeing it do so. And uh, seeing these heartbreaking scenes of uh, uh, People being shot for violating borders and quarantines and bodies thrown in the streets. Uh, there is a reality there. and It's a very heartbreaking scene, but um, the fact that people are freaking out in the United States and that we have this 24-7 uh, uh, Ebola. Oh, my God, there's Ebola. Right? No, sorry. I'm, and um, it's really a tragedy to see uh, this media frenzy, this political opportunism, all the same uh, horseshit we see. Uh, every time, and um, you know, I, I think the odds of you uh, getting Ebola are about the same as uh, winning the lotto. And uh, I think Ebola and lotto have actually something in common because if you don't play, you can't win. So uh, remember that. And uh, I, I hate to make light of this whole situation because, like I say, there's a part of this that is tragedy. But oh my God, there's some Ebola right over there. No, no. Okay, no Ebola. Um, th there's a part of this that is truly a tragedy, and for that uh, uh, I do feel. But uh, as far as uh, everything that's going along with us, it's uh, so blown out of proportion, and it's so insane, and it's such a distraction uh, from so much else. And um, the fact that uh, we have this uh, uh, frenzy going on is just uh, 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 ridiculous. The guy that jumped up in the plane and said, I have Ebola, you're all screwed. Uh, really, I think, had it right because uh, showed what uh, uh, overreaction, what a bunch of idiots uh, we've become uh, for not being able to take a joke. And uh, so right now I'm taking this opportunity, of course, to make a, a joke about Ebola. And speaking of jokes, uh, if this all turns out, uh, if Ebola actually mutates and starts spreading and actually uh, uh, wreaking havoc in the United States, I'm more than willing to eat a, uh, a rotting monkey carcass and get Ebola myself uh, in order to uh, redeem myself from making uh, these kind of jokes. And uh, So I'll, I'll eat a diseased carcass 
when something actually happens in the United States other than more civil liberties are lost, uh, more control mechanisms are, are put into place and uh, vaccines uh, become mandatory and that's a whole another uh, uh, aspect of this. Uh, I think the vaccines actually would be the real story here, not Ebola. Oh my God, there's Ebola right over there. Look, it's going right up the wall. Okay, uh, I'm a useful idiot. I have to go. There's Ebola in my home. And I have to go. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be...